Well, generally speaking, the Phantom 3 is very well built. I'm very pleased with it. But the controller, one spot here on the controller is not so well. It, it moves around. Now, the controller for the Inspire 1 isn't like that. It, it's rock solid. So it's disappointing. And then by the time you get like an iPad mini on top of the controller, I mean, it's just like flopping around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue in here to stabilize it and I'll let you know how it works. In another video, I recommended using hot glue to stabilize the bracket holding the mobile device. I'm now going to show you how to easily remove the hot glue and then provide some better solutions. Now, with a knife, I'll slice through the glue to take it off. A reviewer of my video recommended using something firm under the bracket to clamp it down. So I took a paint stir stick and cut it into a couple of small pieces. So with the wood under the bracket, I'm clamping down the bracket. So without having to invest much time, energy, or money, this option seems to work pretty well. I would have to test it further to see if the thumb screw stays tight. One problem that I've heard people talk about is over tightening or stripping out the threads in the radio controller. Well, a much better solution, a permanent solution, is to purchase the bracket designed for the Inspire One transmitter. It costs $30 and B&H Photo offers free shipping. It is uh, spare part number 45, also called a mobile device holder for the Inspire One transmitter. If I'd known of this option earlier for $30, I would not have messed with hot glue or paint sticks. I would just want the problem solved. As you can see, the problem of the wobbly bracket is now solved. Thanks for watching.